So I'm getting my uh, profession mobilized, you know, as a journalist, media woman, um, reporter. So I've been putting my workstation together and then I was asked to take it out away. I can't help but feel like I'm being picked on, but it's okay. But uh, I'm here because of a broken foot. And I now I'm supposed to take this every time I leave. I would have done that anyway, perhaps, because it's so got my uh, profession equipment in it. But with a broken foot and the elevator being out for a month, where is the logic in having me exit this from my room? And then go up and down the stairs with it. So observe. keeping my important stuff in, that thing weighs. So I have to haul it with me everywhere I go to keep the vandals, the gang stalkers, from vandalizing my equipment. And even when I place it in the truck, they still fuck with it. And yes, I did report it. No, they don't care. And in fact, when I reported, my uh, medication went missing. When I left my backpack in my room, I got drug tested for that. Oops, I'm sorry. It's like you have a I'm bunch of gear. Okay, sorry. It's a lot of stuff. Oh, it's my profession, my new profession. Oh, sure. Yeah, since I, since I ran out of being a critical therapist, I have to find something. I was in, I, I was a, I was in EMS for in critical care. I see you the ICU running the ventilation and is this your room. phone? Oh, I'm yeah. I'm all posing. Oh, <laughs> no, introduce yourself. That's my video log. Hi, I'm Tori. She, she's a TI. I oh, live here also. Yes, because uh, we are TIs in a homeless shelter. Thanks to this godforsaken thing. So that's life. That's your new world order for you. And uh, if you're a targeted individual trying to hang on to things, let it go, hon. Just start preparing now what you need to be on the move from a homeless shelter. That's what I'm having to do. I uh, reported to my employer at Best Care EMS. Well, not to the owner, to the DO. What was going on with me being targeted in the work field? The good news is he didn't try to send me for a mental health evaluation because I've done research since then. Feel free to pass. I like her, she's nice. But, um, <sighs> it's messed up, guys. Just let go, trust God. That's what I'm doing. And uh, if you've been following my story from Houston, I left Houston because of the gang stalking. 
the death marauding, and then general debauchery um, from critical care nurses in the ER, and even by a couple of doctors in multiple fire. So basically, our world is going to a hell in a handbasket with the moral decay of the fabric of our society. If uh, you have moral aptitude, stop participating in this program because it will masticate your soul before it ever does to any targeted person you are working over. I feel sorry for you guys because um, at the end of the day, when I die, I be vibing high. When you die, you be vibing low. There is no hell, there might be a hell, but there are hellish dimensions. If you don't believe me, look up testimony of hell. You will be stuck in that timeless, godforsaken dimension unless you're able to pull yourself up out of it. And even then you will need the blood of Jesus. I'm not here to push Jesus on anybody, but that's what it will take when you are serving Satan doing demonic bullshit. You can't expect to rise higher than that, man. So if you are part of this godforsaken program, love yourself, respect yourself, get out of it before they masticate you into a full-fledged murderer and thief. Y'all already hit pathological liar and group psychosis. It's time to get healthy, guys. You love yourselves. I know you can do it if you want to. But you're going to have to pick up your cross, just like all of us, and just like you guys railroaded all the other TIs into. Good luck with it.